Are you ready for sucker for love too? A day to die for? Look at her. Look at her. Go, mommy! <laughs> All right, let's do it. Your phone has been re revived. Oh, come on, embarking. Tremor, how you doing today, cutie? Hey, Poppy, have you not seen Sucker for Love? <laughs> yeah, Jason's all cool up here. No? So, Sucker for Love 1 had um, the Cthulhu Mummy, the Cat Mummy, and... Uh, I forget the other one. There was a third one. And this one has the Goat of the Blackwoods. A.K.A. Roxanne. Uh... Okay. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cha TV series, chapter the one. one. Chapter one, the thousand versus the one. I'm the one. And I'm going to get the smooch. Eldritch gods. Cosmic horrors. Things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. I'll read that again. Eldritch Gaunts, Cosmic Horrors, things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. Raiders, Alfim, hello. Tiny kitten, how you doing? Welcome on in. How was Pomo Party? Did you have a good time? Did you have fun? Welcome to the wonderful Sucker for Love, a day to die for. Addo, hello. Welcome on in, cutie. How you doing? Sasha, we'll catch you later. They are sequestered to the stars appearing only through challenging, failure-prone rituals and unutterable incantations. You'll find out, Sakura. You'll find out. I can't believe that Reva put that on Twitch. That's going to get destroyed so fast, Addo. That's crazy. Guy, if you haven't seen Alfim, go give Alfim a follow. Go give them some squishes. They're very cute. They're very small cat. Their twisted, fanatical followers require no such invitation to commit horrors beyond belief in their stead. It is then when the boogeyman lurking in the shadows isn't an obscure, imperceptible shade, but a tangible madman. Tangible. That the vague prognostications of the stars become empty threats before the undeniably material. The simple hatchet in their hands. God, I love this. Oh! Did something scary happen? <laughs> Me. Oh! Uh, huh? In the book you're reading. Did something scary happen? You're as pale as a sheet. Uh, oh, <laughs> just a strange dream. That's all. I'm all right. Oh. Sorry, this might sound strange, but can, can you tell me where I am? You're in my bookstore in Sacramento. Are you lost? Uh, oh, no. I think I know where I am now. Thanks. I've been having odd dreams lately. Waking in strange places with no memory of how I got there. Started around the same time folks began man vanishing from my hometown, Sacramento. Despite the small size of this backwater town, dozens have gone missing this past year. So many that the trains won't even stop here now. Worried locals say they've spotted angry spirits prowling the woods, animals with too many features, watching. Outsiders can't shake the feeling of being watched by the townsfolk's unblinking purple eyes. Sacramento to stare, they call it. Um, have you made a selection? Did you find a book to your liking? Hey, Eric. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to keep you here late on my account. No, no, it's fine. I'm glad that you enjoyed reading my books. But it's starting to get dark outside. With all the disappearances lately, you'd better hurry home. Home. My family fled this place long ago when the disappearances started. But a letter imploring me to come visit appeared in my apartment earlier this week. We said, I know, right? Hey, Stardust. Mum's pretty shaken up about everything, so I'm taking care of her at Graham's place. If you came by for a visit, I know it'd cheer her right up and help her feel better. We miss you like crazy. Sorry, I'm going to plug in my mouse because it's apparently dying. Come on. Here we go. This is definitely my father's handwriting. And only my parents call me Stardust. Impossible. Mom, Dad, I know you're not really waiting for me, but you've been gone for over a year. 
but whoever sent me this note obviously wants me to come poking around, and I aim to find out why. There's something strange in Sacramento. The dreams, the stare, the spirits, it's all connected, I'm sure of it. Whatever darkness has settled in our neck of the woods, I'm putting a stop to it. Mom, Dad, I love you both so much. I'll get to the bottom of this. Thanks for letting me doze off. I, I promise I'll come back real soon. Thank you for stopping in. Take care. That's saucy. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. The warm glow of the bookstore fades behind me as I step into the dusk. Sacramento. This should be my hometown, but it's become unrecognizable. The streets are overrun with dense foliage and missing person posters that litter every surface. They call this Missing Person Lane. Now desperate. They call this Missing Person Lane now. Desperate searchers put up posters here before vanishing themselves. It's the only path left, and it leads straight to my Graham's house. But something feels off. The familiar landmarks of my childhood are nowhere to be found. Have I gotten turned around? No. I've walked in a straight line, yet nothing looks right. Stay calm. I pick a direction and jog, searching for anything familiar. Nothing changes. I double back, check walls and addresses. Still lost. M m maybe if I check the note from my parents for the address. A, a grocery receipt? Impossible. I just had their letter. I even kept my pockets empty so I wouldn't lose it. Wait, this receipt has the exact dimensions and folds as the letter. Could I have imagined the whole letter? Did I miss your smooches? Mwah, mwah. No, impossible. I check the back and then double check the front. The receipt remains just that. Something is very wrong. I have to get out. I have to run. I have to. Hey, ow! Uh, are you like blind or something? Hi! Watch where you're going, Klotzorama! Sinful, I asked you to turn that off. Because this game doesn't like it when I tab out. Thank you, Sinful. I slammed right into somebody coming the other way. But, oh, I'm sorry. Are, are you alright? I should have been more careful. Oh, she's really pretty. What on earth is, a, is this girl doing wandering around Sacramento at night? Don't touch me. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to smack into you like that. I know it's not an excuse, but I was just in a rush. Oh yeah, I know. You gotta go run off and steal my boyfriend, right? Thank you, Simple. Yeah, it's whatever. Totally cool. Save your breath. I already know how this goes. Wait, uh, what? Your boyfriend? Yeah, you heard me. My boyfriend. Buck is mine. You're fanciful. Who the heck is Buck? Where are all these accusations coming from? I, I, I don't know anyone called Buck. Huh? <laughs> really? Uh oh. You don't know who Buck is? Hey, Chris. Uh oh. She's got the eyes. You're not, like, from out of town, are you? The stare. It's real. I turn my head down and briskly walk past her. She starts walking alongside me. Hey, look at me. I can't let her see my eyes. No matter what, she'll notice I don't have the sacramental to stare. You can tell me. <laughs> Are you from here or what? I, I, look, listen, I, 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 I gotta go. I, I, I live here. Oh, yeah? Look at me really quick. Uh, no, look, listen, I don't, I don't want to look at you. You're going to accuse me of stuff? This is bad. Even if I make it home, she'll know where I live. What do I do? Look at me. Um, I don't want to. I freeze. Before I know it, I'm already staring straight at her. <laughs> Bucky, hi. Got another one for you at Missing Person Lane. Uh oh. What? She's got a knife? Like a little, like, knife keychain? That's fucked up. I break into a mad dash, running my hardest. Everything is a blur. My heart pounding in my ears can't dull out the sounds of whistles, shouts, and und unidentified com commotion coming from all sides. Panting and dizzy, I feel my body slowing down. But the image of my face in the next missing person's poster kick my leg into action once more. There, a clearing up ahead. If I can break their line of sight, I might find a chance uh, find a chance to hide. Hey, Wolfie. As I near the turn off, my exhaustion makes itself known. If this is a dead end, or it's too dark to find my way, 
I won't have the energy to turn around and start running again. Turning the corner, I gasp. It's Grandma's house. My goodness. I dash out the path and burst through the door. Do -do 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 -do. I hold the door shut for what feels like forever as my pulse slows. Hello, hello. Pounding footsteps pass by outside. I'm safe. For now. <sighs> hey, what's... I may just be standing at the entrance, but I can already tell something feels off about my home. Like the warm, familiar place I grew up in is long gone. I can't put my finger on it, but... No, you're fine, simple. Hey, Dust. This dread. Why do I feel like I need to sneak around my own home? Is someone here? Hello? No response. Doo -doo. Little map chat. Go little mappy map. Look at me. It's me right there. And I've got to get to the second floor. Oh. Wait. Oh, you can... Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Zen. Think of the free stream streak. Okay. Wait. Oh, you... Oh, it does turn... Okay, cool. That's... That's wicked. I love this. Oh, I love the style. I just love it. I love everything about it. Where am I? I'm here. If I go... I go left. We go left. Hello? Oh. Oh. Is this like a dining room? Oh. That's a couple of bodies. And meat. Fresh dripping meat. Should avoid counting the number of legs. Mmm. A punch bowl of blood. The blood in the bowl is an odd color. I'm a bit relieved it's probably not human blood. But then what's in all these bags? Snow. Mwah. Green legs and ham. I should not eat them, Sam. I am. Should I put them here or there? I do not want them in my underwear. This place is a mess. Unusually pungent spices, pepper, nutmeg, ginger, and cinnamon, to name a couple I see. The air is almost suffocatingly thick with their scent. That looks like a face. Hello, I am the robot man. What's that terrible smell coming in the fridge? I can't bear to open it. Okay. So nothing... I, I guess nothing really happens yet. Actually, I don't wait now. Hey, Rai. You gotta, like, go upstairs first. Oh. I love the scenery, though. It's such a cool design, like, world. Uh... Is this the way? Yeah, this is the way I want. Open it, you coward. I'm opening it. I'm going. Oh. You're a hey. Walk on in. Uh, so I'm going to go straight again. Can I? My, oh. All right. It's fine. You don't have to get up. You, you stay. You, you're never leaving. Smile. Uh, one along. Oh, right. It's because I had to change it for... One second, Jet. I had to, I had to change uh, closed captions yesterday for uh, VR chat. There you go. Now it's on. Okay. My room. What on earth happened here? This occult nonsense. Has someone been living in my house? The candles are still lit. Whoever was responsible was just here, but who? Why? This book isn't mine either. No title, no offer, and it reeks of death and decay. With trembling fingers, I open it to a random page. Seed the black woods. Instructions on how to corrupt the soil of a forest by using remains of a goat and the beating heart of a human. The beating what? 
I read and reread the passage, but it's plain, plain as black and white. The beating heart of a human. I read it again and again, my disbelief washing away more and more each time. This isn't a joke. First the stare that only the locals have, then the disappearances, then the supernaturally overgrown woods, and now this, the truth dawns on me. Sacramento has been overrun by occultists. All those missing people, my parents, they haven't been spirited away by angry forest spirits, they've been abducted, and I'm next. There must be a way to stop this. I flip desperately through the book's pulsating pages, searching for anything that might help. Summon the All Mother, a ritual to force the dark deity behind the madness to physically manifest before me, finding her in a form that can't directly harm me. This is it, my chance to end this nightmare once and for all. To face a sinister goddess behind Sacramento's madness, but to stomp her evil, whatever the cost. For the sake of everyone who suffered and died, I have to try. I'll bind this All Mother to a physical form and destroy her. Looks like I already have everything I need to try. Okay. Uh. Book. Right. This ritual will bind the black goat to a physical formant that can't harm you. However, no contact with Eldritch Gods is completely safe. To summon her, do the following. Douse any lit candles. Ensure there is an idol of the black goat present somewhere in the room. Have a plan, mister, with you. While facing a tree on the of the black woods, chant her name. Alright, okay. So, douse the candles. Goat is here. Yep. This looks like an idol of a goat, only it has too many legs and too many eyes. It weighs a ton too. Get this get up the stairs. Uh, the plant mister is that. You found the plant mister. At certain times in conversation, this icon will appear and you can spray the speaker with water by right clicking. This will interrupt whatever they're doing or saying. This feature is primarily included to consider or play, uh, against consideration of players dislike being hit on by older women and eldritch abominations. But it has other uses too. So I have turned, there's a statue, I've turned out the lights, I've got the plant mister, and I'm facing the tree. Alright. Roxanne Selva Oscura. Mortal, you dare summon me again? Have your pathetic lives not been extended long enough by my gift? Have your lusts not been sated? Must you continue to torment your goddess so? My heart pens an immense, terroring figure materializes before me. My head is splitting open. I can't think. I can barely breathe this weight crushing down on me. Do you have any idea who I am? I'm Roxanne, the Black Goat of the Woods. And you will rue this day. Hey, Joel, too. Fake Black Silver Fox. Madness given form, shredding my sanity with each second that passes. It's evil, ancient, and endless. Peering into the deepest parts of me that were never meant to be seen. You tread on dangerous ground, little lamb. Know that each time you summon me, my wrath grows. My wrath grows. I will make you rue with each second of agony you have inflicted. Now, choose your next words carefully. What more could you possibly want of me? Speak! Hey, Piggy. I have to banish her, to send her back before there's nothing left of me. But the words I need don't come. Did I really think I could face a pair like this? Stupid, stupid girl. The last shreds of my will, I cling to the thought of why I came. Why I dared this folly. I swallow bile and terror. Straighten my spine. Grab a candle from the floor and speak shakily. I'm here to stop you from hurting another soul. Sending you back to the darkness you crawled out of. One way or another. Really? <laughs> Hello? Uh, um, yeah? Oh, thank goodness. I thought this nightmare would never end. Um, aren't you supposed to be, like, trying to stop me or something? No, I'm into this. Get me out of here. <laughs> no, I'm into this. My bro, my bro furrows as I stare at her wordlessly. Isn't she supposed to want to, you know... Spread what madness and whatnot. You're confused. Yeah. Well, yeah. You want to be exercised? Banished. <sighs> yes. I'm rooted to your planet and cannot be removed without a human's aid. Wait. 
So they're they're just they're just our eyes, you know. They're closed and they all eventually open and stuff. I don't understand. You have so many followers, followers that just tried to kill me. I'm mad. Can't they free you instead? Things have gotten messy with my cultists. Messy in a bad way, I mean. My followers have turned against me and are abusing me and my woods' power to kill outsiders indiscriminately. That's terrible. Have pity on this old, tired goat and banish me so I can't trouble humanity any longer. Please, help me. I broke my temple. This is tricky. On the one hand, I came here to banish her. This corrupted forest is devouring this town, and who knows how much fervor it will spread if nothing's done. On the other hand, I have a serious reservations about helping an eldritch god do anything. All those missing people posters. She's responsible. She and her cult are pure evil. But for now, we want the same thing. Her gone. Alright, tell me how to do this. Do I just grab any old knife and Your mortal weapons can harm me, child. But they cannot stop me. But that book you carry, it holds the key to my banishment. Perform the rituals in order until you arrive at the uprooting ritual. That one will banish me for good. Can I be banished for two? Yeah, Iraza. It was, it was all lovely, Wolfie. I'm glad that we got to hang out and I squish your face and uh, God damn it, how do you stay up till 6am? First things first, you will need a partner. I am a goddess of lust, so many of your rituals will require you to be in the presence of your ideal mate. Your heart's desire. Perform the spawn partner ritual on the next page. Wait. Okay. Sure, why not? Spawn partner. Light the ritual candles. The color of the flame does not matter, so please choose a color you find comforting. Have you, ch you chosen your ar have you cho have your choice of aromatic herb on your person? Pick a scent you find pleasant. Imagine your ideal partner. If it exists, it will appear before you in a cloud of smoke. If it does not exist, it will be created. Do not imagine something you can't put back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so I need to go get a aromatic herb. Alright, so I'll leave blue. I'll, I'll stick with blue. Oh, look at her. She's just kind of... Oh, she's... She's so sad. So the, these followers, are they kind of like jealous ex-boyfriends then? Want nothing to do with them, but they won't let you leave? Actually, yes. That's precisely right. They're like my exes. And using the same metaphor, if you try to date me, then my exes will hack you to death with farm tools. Oh, well, that was never in the... That was never... You never mentioned that. I guess that last part wasn't a metaphor. Uh... Maybe I should get back to the ritual then. That's probably a good idea. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'm going to leave now. Wait, everything I need is already in the But what herbs are in it? Where are the herbs? Uh. I don't. I. I don't have herbs. I don't. Do I not have. Wait. What? Oh! Lavender, mint, or rosemary. Okay, I'm gonna go with mint. I like mint. Was it Fanarak, Yam, Yak, Umaf, Unya? Words. They were shut up then. Shut up. Zeri, hey, that you, you were right, but I saw the thing down below and I was like, um, you know, I guess that's what we need. T hey, you're my ideal mate. Let's, uh, let's smooch. <laughs> oh my. Wait, I, 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 I can explain. Go ahead. You're hot. Um, I want to fuck you. I mean, um, big titty. I mean, um, fuck. Um, you're a goat. Oh, fuck. Um, um. <laughs> I've got nothing. What? What is wrong with my taste? Nimzo, hello. 
Oh, come on in. Just go. Wow, look, listen, dra dragon. I was already by. I've just by with extra steps. <laughs> There's no need to be bashful. Especially after all that time you spent playing coy. <laughs> mommy, I'm sorry. Mommy, I'm sorry. Mommy, I'm sorry. Mommy, I'm sorry. Mommy. In view of the circumstances, perhaps I will allow you to be my partner. Oh, yeah? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna get that. Smooch. Really? And, and that's okay with you? Even though we just met? Well, it's sudden, and it'll be a long, long time before I could ever trust a human again. Bye, Snoo, Snoo. Yeah, you know, listen, listen, you just, you just came in, uh, Nimzo, when, when we were told to, I, I, to, to, to think about our ideal mate, and when we did, Roxanne just pops up in front of me, you know? Just, there she is. But I'm not exactly the god of taking things slow. <laughs> Neither am I. Besides, I already have a thousand children. <laughs> There's no harm in a thousand and one. Wink. Wait, what are we talking about? Taking me as your partner? Hey, my lad. I thought you were talking about just being my girlfriend. The two definitions of partners that a fertility goddess was referring to the platonic meaning? Yeah. If I were gonna like go get pizza and shit. I mean, you go like the movies. There's three meanings of partners. What's the third? Yeah, boys. Are you still joking around while standing so close? <laughs> you should be melting with desire. Being uh, anywhere within a mile of me should amplify your lust a thousandfold. Ah, uh, you see, I just nodded. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's an easy one. Pheasant in time zero is zero. Wait, are you saying what I think you're saying? Yep. So, I take it you haven't had children yet? Nope. And... You... you aren't with child now? No? Are you saying I look fat? You're going to die here, and there's nothing I can do to help. <laughs> what, what? What? I thought we were trying to get you out of here. You're just gonna help... you're not gonna help me? You're, you're just not gonna help me because I don't have kids? It's not that I won't, it's that I can't. I am an entity of untapped cosmic potential. And I want a big family. The biggest family possible. I want every living thing on Earth to be a direct descendant of me or one of my followers. Those that best serve that goal receive a fraction of my power. My most devoted followers are bestowed with gifts like extended lifespans, rapid healing, physical enhancement, and in some cases, immortality. And those followers are the ones looking for you. I mean, let's be honest, right? I mean... If you're if it's a fertility goddess and you have physical enhancements, probably a good thing. You, on the other hand, have closed yourself off to my dark influence and are mortal and vulnerable. No kids, no powers. I mean, can't we just bang? What if I don't want powers or kids? What if I drain the life from your body? and then used it to fertilize my wicked soil until something that will give me grandchildren comes crawling out. You're taking an involuntary step backwards. <laughs> oh. Then let's make a baby right here, right now. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Are you all right? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Powers and all. Let's move on to the next ritual so we can get out of here, okay? Mm. Holy moly, that was freaking scary. She's really taking this hard. Better go get the stuff for the next ritual. Alright, what do we need next then? Alright, collect the following. Meat from a living thing that died within the Blackwoods. Check the meat rack in the dining room. Milk of the Black Goat. Store bought 22% is apparently fine too. In the fridge. Lastly, a receptacle filled to the brim with liquid life. Blood. They meant blood. Please use blood from now on. Sorry. Chant while facing red fired candles. Okay, so we need red. Okay, now I need to go get the stuff from out down in the living room again. 
The need to breed. She got that dog in her. She got the, she got the, 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 the hair of the dog. By 2%. I don't know. Ever map. Okay, so I need to go this way. Which is to my left. Yeah. So, yeah, Harry, I wonder. No idea what they could have meant. It is, Drake. This one has a big, big titty goat mama in it. Meat. They tear a, hun a hunk of meat from the hook. This should be what I'm looking for. It sounds kind of strange. Is this beef? Pork? Whatever it came from, it was huge. I should move on before I count the number of legs hanging on the hooks. A receptacle filled to the brim of liquid life. But, but blood. An unsettling amount of it. This is what the ritual calls for. This is the milk of the black goat. It looks like regular carton of store-bought strawberry milk. With a label slapped on it. I guess the cultists would have a hard time getting the real thing from Roxanne. Now that their relationship is severed. No pun intended. This should be good enough. A chill just ran up my spine. Am I being watched? I have everything I need to... I need to get out of here fast. I guess we leave. Hey, Danny. I gotta go fast, chat. I said you, I said I gotta go fast. Go, go fast, fast, fast. We gotta run. Secure is always damn bad for someone. Alright, uh, red candles. I have all the stuff they need, so. Ah, oh, well done. Looks like you did everything perfectly. Impressive. Of course. Karen. <laughs> Just marry Roxanne, it'd be great. We're going fast, it's not always the best. I mean, in certain situations. Nothing, nothing to it. If all the rituals are this easy, I'll have you out here in no time. <laughs> Perhaps so. I, um, I don't want to leave things as they are between us. Your life is your own. I'm sorry for losing my composure. Don't worry about it. Oh, that? I nearly forgot about that already. I'm a little surprised the little old god would bother apologizing to a human at all. I've given it some thought. And while you may be blasphemously abstinent, you're the only person in the world that can help me. You see, if you step within range of my woods... Any desire you have that will lead you closer to me is amplified to such an intense degree that it's unbearable. And most of the time, it's lust. And most of the time? Anyone who is led here seeking carnal or animalistic pleasures develops the Sacramento Stare and becomes a cultist. Ah. If you are brought into my woods for any other reason, you don't become one of my chosen thousand, and your desire will make you futilely search the woods for what isn't there. You'll forget to eat and sleep, and you'll search and search until you die of exhaustion and become fertilizer for the woods to grow further. You're the only person to reach me without joining the cult or dropping dead. Thanks in no small part to the fact that you don't have lust to amplify. Thank you for the sips, Lauren. My only question is, if you're not here for lust, why are you here? I put the receipt out of my pocket. I came looking for my parents. They vanished somewhere around here a year ago. This used to be a letter from them saying they were here in the house. But once I got here, it turned into this blank receipt and won't turn back. The woods have indeed toyed with your emotions to bring you here. That paper was likely never a letter from your parents, but the woods made you believe it was. I'm sorry. So they're just still gone? They were likely consumed by my woods no more than three days after they disappeared. I feel like I've been punched in the gut. The dust has long settled and my parents being gone, but the grief never faded. Eat. It'll give you your strength back. The woods won't let you feel how tired you are. I don't feel tired at all, but come to think of it, I feel I felt like it was going to collapse when I made it to the house. I don't think I've eaten since I got the letter either. I take a few bites and the tears abate. There, there. 
It'll be all right, Stardust. Oh. Yeah, you're not allowed to call me Stardust from now on. It's, it's not happening. All right, don't do it. This is this is my uh, this is me slapping you with the back of my hand, the ring finger, so to speak. Fuck you, Drake. Fuck you, Rovi. Listen, sicker, you can't talk. Stardust? Did you know my parents' nickname for me? Anything that dies within my black woods becomes a part of it. A part of me. Their memories of you likely live on in me. Zen, I'm gonna i I'm gonna spin all y'all. I'm gonna squish your faces. I guess that settles it. My parents really are gone. That's the only way she could know that name. This isn't the kind of closure I was hoping for I'd find here. But I came here to put an end on the dis disappearances. And that's what I'll do. Tangy! Listen, Sharky. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. It was never supposed to be like this. I came bearing gifts of safe childbirth for infant and mother. Hungerlessness. Disease immunity. Listen, Kangy, sweetie. I will bite you. But instead, my own worshippers tormented me until it broke my hearts. Now my woods are bloodthirsty. <laughs> and I'm Blood forced thirsty. to watch innumerable die. But why? How could somebody do something like that? How could somebody have so much hate in their hearts? Because it's had an eternity to accumulate. What would that emo even be? What would Lumi Dust even be? Like, what would that emo even be? Oh my god, Rai, I will fucking dropkick you. What was that? It sounded like something breaking downstairs. Are they coming? Already? No, 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 no! I forgot, Roxanne is just as scared as I am. I need to be more careful with showing fear, for her sake. Oh my god, Dragon, it's just... I'm just being made out of stardust. It could just be the house. The place is old and rotten in some places, so sometimes the house shifts on its own. I take a quick look around my room for the sturdiest thing I can find. They left my bass guitar untouched. Go oh, check it out. It sounds like it came from the kitchen. <laughs> I get the fight? Okay, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Okay, so to the kitchen we must go. I... Wait, what? Do 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 do. I think it's this way. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for like something to happen. here. Ah! Zeo, thank you for the stream streak. Shut up! I'm gonna squish your faces. All y'all faces. I get the fight with a guitar. You hit me with a guitar! God. Volume high. I'm good. How you doing? I don't see anything out of the ordinary. It could have just been the house settling, like I said. Gonna be a jump scare behind me, isn't there? <laughs> I was right! I fucking called it! I think that hit knocked him out cold. That made so much noise. I can't afford to stick around, but I don't feel good about letting this maniac wake up and ambush me again. I'll tie them up somewhere, right? Keep my eye on them. Why's that knife covered in blood? I can't for the life of me find a wound anywhere in my body, and I certainly don't feel pain either. I grab hold of the scruff of the cutter's collar and drag them a short distance. They feel unusually light to carry, and my left arm can't produce any force. What's going on with? Oh! What was that? That vision. No matter how much I focus, I can't bring it back. It's just like the fake letter, letter I received. No! 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 Are the woods concealing my injuries from me? So I can't tell when I'm about to drop dead? I sling my base over my shoulder, by its strap, and drag the cultist with my right arm alone. 
I'm sure this would be torture if I could feel pain or exhaustion. Where am, where am I taking them? I'll return to Roxanne. I don't like the music. It makes me go... Ur. And then I'm, I'm gonna fucking... I'm, re I'm so ready just to attack now. I'm back. Welcome back. What is that? Bass guitar? Not that. The dead body. Oh, they're alive, actually. You took one of the thousand alive? And then brought them here? This is... Very good, actually. <laughs> now you have a blood sacrifice if you need one. Now you have a blood sacrifice. Boom! Chat, I want you, I just want to point this out, right? So, so during uh, my, I think it was my birthday, um, Timo and Ridley gifted me some stuff from Throne, okay? And on, and, and, and there was like a little Deku keyring. It never showed up. So I finally got in touch with Throne. I was like, look, I've tried to contact the, 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 the studio. I've tried to like, ask them what the fuck's going on. Nobody has got back to me. So can you like get it refunded or something? So they, they just got an email saying that it got refunded. Completely ab ab above the point, but it just popped up. Here we go. This is... Oh, it's just them. It's already been refunded. But there's like so much... <laughs> I added more stuff to my phone thanks to Axel. Because Axel keeps fucking suggesting things. Hello there. Hi, Jaunty. What did you say? Some of these rituals require blood or human... Participants. I have love Having someone knocked out and served to you on a silver platter makes things much easier. Oh. Well, that makes sense. How you doing, Fluffle? Oh. I tied a wrist to her behind a load-bearing post in my room. Now, I'm an outer god, so my moral code is completely different from that of humans. But didn't they just try to kill you? Oh, yeah. Maybe, but under that mask, this could be someone else who went missing. I could never put someone through what I felt like... Why, wait, I could never put someone through what I felt when my parents didn't come back. The mask is snug against the cutter's face, but with a firm yank... Her? Nanny! Nanny? <sighs> you! Oh, you're that klutz from Missing Person Lane! <laughs> you. It's brushed. It's brushed. It's brushed. Yeah, shut up. You get get fucking wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does that feel, huh? How does that feel to get interrupted, huh? Sheesh. Maybe I bonked you in the head a little too hard. It's not that. She has the stare. Her lust for the leader of the thousand, Buck has been amplified a thousandfold into blind fanaticism. Blind fanaticism? What's up, Sakura? Uh, uh. Hey, don't try to wiggle out of that. I don't want to have to hurt you. I just needed to make sure you couldn't attack me again. You think you can steal my book, bash me over the head with a guitar, tie me up, and get away with it? Oh, you're so dead. No, I think that you're going to be on who's dead when I need to kill you. <laughs> what did you expect to thank you? <sighs> She's long gone. It's pointless trying to talk to her. If you're insisting on keeping her alive, just do us both a favor and keep an eye on her. If you have to look away, don't turn your back on her for too long. I don't like that. I don't like that, that has I have to keep an eye on her now. I do insist on keeping her alive. If she has the stare, then she didn't choose this. She's just another innocent person who got tricked into coming here. Hey, if you're if you just stay put for now, then I can like just let you go after I'm done here, okay? Drop dead. It's not great. Do you get to see it? Maybe. I sign return her mask to her. First thing first, I need to do something about my arm. Uh I 
don't want to look away from her for too long. Um. What, what can I do about my arm? Could always break her limbs. Wait, everything is not in this room. Uh, I don't see like, oh, wait, what? Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to put that mask on her. Um, I don't. I'm going to keep looking at her for a minute. Uh, what's in my next? What's next in the book? To heal injuries, place a goat skull over your face and light the green fire candles. Uh, ensure the symbol is drawn nearby and face a mirror. If the intended target isn't the caster and this and isn't deceased, draw the symbol instead. Face them. Okay. So. Green. I take skull. I put skull on. I uh, look at a mirror after putting the weird, like, penis symbol. Uh, mirror, 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 mirror? Where's a mirror? Do I have a mirror? Uh, I don't have a mirror. Or do I just not see a mirror? Pianta, hi, cutie. What going in? Sucker for love, D. I'm gonna squish you, Sakura. Where does you saw it's a titty symbol? Yeah, yeah. So I just is it look in a mirror? I don't have a mirror. Wait, there. That's a mirror right there. I thought it was just a space between. All right, fuck it. All right, that should do it. I inspect my arm, but I still can't tell whether I'm I'm in pain or not. I can only hope that I'm still not bleeding out. But if it handles my injuries. Hey, um. What? Your name is Nanny, right? I'm gonna give you your mask back so that you can do the ritual too. I bet that lump aches, huh? What? The one you gave to me? Yes. I didn't mean to hurt you, I swear. You came at me. I was just defending myself. Look, you're hurt. Let me let me help you patch up, and we'll call it call it even, okay? Like, barf me out. <sighs> Here, no chant. Bottom of the page. I know how to do it. Horna, the golf tog, like you got more grins bada. I hate her already. Better? This is gonna come back to bite you. Just wait until I break free. Then you're toast for real. Hey Nora. Wait, why did I why didn't I heal her by doing this one? Eh, whatever. Perform a rot bloom. This uh, yeah. What a gruesome looking ritual. What's wrong? N nothing. Just getting the creepy crawlies from this one. It looks like I've got to eat a bunch of stuff in order to the make... seed made immortal by my influence. When you die, the seed will bloom, leaving something good in the world long after you've passed away. Yeah, but there was a part of the book, Zan, that said that I could heal her. So maybe if I'd done it differently, like backwards, I might have healed her and gotten a cheap in for her son. That's... Kind of beautiful, actually. Really? You think so? I do. Well, I don't think... I don't like thinking we're dying. It's kind of comforting thinking a part of me will live on, you know? Well, the same could be said about having children. They carry on your legacy long after you die, too. I could spray her. And if you have a bunch of children, but I don't it's want like to. living forever. Doesn't that sound nice, too? Hmm? She Sean's grand could talk. You're just like my mom. <laughs> I can work with that. Mommy? Roxanne! Kidding, kidding. I was only 60% serious. Only 60? That's still more than half serious. But then again, living forever is something best done through offspring. Experiencing it yourself. <laughs> right, Riku. You mean like what you did to my Bucky? He brought that upon himself. You cursed him. He was your most devout follower, and you cursed him. Wait, cursed? One of my followers, the leader of the thousand, stole a kiss from me long ago and became immortal. No matter what happens, he will still exist. Oh. How, can I have a can I have a kiss? Is that a curse? I could use a mortality right but no. Wouldn't it be nice to just live forever? No. Um I mean 
Immortality is certainly not living forever. The pain you feel after fatal wounds becomes permanent, lifelong agony. For instance, if a human drowns, they feel indescribable fear and pain for seconds, maybe minutes at worst, and then are swept away by the mercy of death. An immortal human would continue to drown, thrashing and screaming soundlessly, until hope came. If it came. That's a horrible idea. So, for a mortal human to be cursed with cosmic permanence, immortality is terror beyond death. Buck realized this, and is tormenting me until I take it back. Wait, can you take it back? How come you don't just take it back then? Wouldn't they let you go if you did? If cosmic permanence was something that could be undone, it wouldn't be permanent, would it? That makes a good point. That's a good point. When Bucky finds you, when he gets his hands on you, Buck is already here. Ah, oh, fuck. A voice in the nearest of my bedroom door. I didn't even hear him coming. Bucky! Buck, they're here. Hello in there. Hi. It would appear that you have my book, my nanny, and my god inside that room with you. Yeah. The good news is, you're holding all of the cards. As long as nanny is unharmed. She's fine, I just tied her up. Is that so? Then it looks like we can make a deal. If you let us in, we'll take nanny and go. What? No way. Once that door's open, I'm going missing for sure. <laughs> Realize the situation you're in. I got a guitar in here, bitch. We can storm in and take the book, the girl, and the god by force. Then, then how come you haven't done it already? You might get a lucky shot on one of us before you died, like I assume you did, Nanny. And if the injury was serious, we'd be stuck for the next who knows how many years with it. All of that is too much risk over you. Right, and so you just let me waltz on out of here. We get dozens of people trapped in our woods every week. It means nothing to us if you escape. Even if I go straight to the police and tell them everything? <laughs> the police are already here. Open oh. the door, and you can keep Roxanne and the book. And if you don't, you know what will happen. You have 20 seconds to make your choice. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. Guitar? That won't be enough to protect me. Uh, Roxanne? What the fuck is Roxanne? Uh. Uh. Oh, I went to open. Whoa. You'll hit the book. Okay. You shot. I quickly back from the door, awaiting, awaiting the onslaught of cultists. But instead, I hear footsteps retreating. Stardust! Are you alright? Shut up. I pat myself down quick. If I got hit, it wasn't enough to make me lose consciousness. That'll have to do. What? What gives? Why are they running away? Did I do something to scare them off? They know you have to leave this room eventually. So they're waiting to ambush you. Don't let your guard down. They could be anywhere. Um, you know, I'm going to try something chat. Uh, it's, it's not the one that is the one. What? Need the mask? Wait, can I? Do I have to? Okay, well, I guess I have to have the mask on. I thought she had to have the mask on. I saved her. She's still alive? The first tenacity is just something else. What have you done? Why did you heal her? He knew I was in here with you. And fired anyway. You heard it too, right? He said to stop shooting because they'd hit the book. Stupid, stupid, stupid. We just made a friend. Is it just me or is she acting different? Thanks for bringing me back or whatever. Oh, thanks? Did she just say thank you? Roxanne, what's happening? 
Her desire for Buck was what drew her into the woods. Now that her desire for Buck is zero, there's nothing to amplify. That's all. Really? She's not one of them anymore? Okay, if I untie you, you won't attack me, right? No, Stardust. Think. Crisis of faith or not, she is still with the Thousand and just tried to kill you. She literally has your blood on her hands. She's like, don't be so fucking stupid. Slip the guitar strap off from around... Wait. Slip the guitar strap off from around her wrists. There. What's that? I'm not going to say thank you for releasing me, too. You're the one who tied me up in the first place. Her eyes are back to normal. I'm leaving. Bye. Bye. Stardust, we're going to regret this. Have a little faith in me. It'll be all right. Well, I do feel a little better that she is not here with us anymore. Nanny not being around is fine by me. Well, damn. That was, uh... Time. Wait, why did why do I not have the goat mask anymore? Where did my goat mask go? Uh, right, let me read Rob Bloom. This ritual is required to safely approach the heart of the woods to perform our brooding. The effects are not, not reversible, even in death. Find it and consume the following in order. A pod of a plant which grew underwater within the Blackwoods. Raw meat of an animal that died within the Blackwoods. A petal of a flower that grew from the soil in the Blackwoods. Where the fuck do I get that? Ensure there are no light candles in the room if you face any plant in the room. Your spawned partner present and chant. Where the fuck do I find all that? Can I take my guitar? I've got to go out there and find this stuff with no protection? I, I can imagine. I've got to go where the danger is. Alright, fuck it. Are you ready, chat? Because here we go. Hey, Darblade. Oh. I was going to say, there's nothing, there's like nothing here. Hello? Plant? A pale flower. It's beautiful beyond belief. Okay, maybe not the flower I'm looking for. Some creep plastered my little brother's room with smutty posters. Ba -da -da -dum -bum. Whoever did this is getting a fist in their face. Well, that's not the room. It's locked from the other side by something purple. Can't see clearly through the keyhole either. Like, I don't, I don't know if I have anything to defend myself with. The bathroom is something, apparently, but I can't, wait. Wait, hold on, what? This room? Oh, this is a room. I found one. This, I think this thing's a plant, so it probably counts. My bath ceramic, I think. Nothing a plant could grow on. But I can only imagine what's, what the what the plants are actually growing out of under the murky water. <clears throat> the levery seeding tear, tear wait, the levery seedling tears off with low resistance. I try to chew it, but it's hard as a rock. I think it's off about the taste too. It is, Barkin Harbor. I managed to force it down. Whatever it was, I don't think it was poisonous. But I feel kind of sick now. I better get a move on. Okay. Wait. So I ate a seed. A strange, still writhing plant. I feel sick from the smell. Part of the plant which grew under the water. I need to do raw meat now. You have to run back. Hey, what do you mean? If I had to probably go back to the meat. Oh. 
Let's not go that way. Back away from our friend heading behind the door. Wait, I don't know if that was... Okay, we're okay. Ooh, okay. I'm going for the meat again. Looks like I'm supposed to eat it raw this time. Ugh. Tear off a dripping morsel of the strange meat. Pinch my nose, shut, and imagine it's beef tartare and force it down. It leaves a medley aftertaste in my mouth. And it feels like something didn't go down quite right. I feel very sick all of a sudden. My stomach immediately starts to churn. I need to get out of here. Huh? What's that incredible smell? A rich, warm scent clouds my senses, settling my stomach almost instantly. I follow my nose. And it leads back to the meat. Did it really be? Did I just get a bad first piece or something? I hesitantly take another bite, and a wave of satisfaction washes over me, and my appetite kicks into overdrive. I've never tasted anything like it. I eat a third piece, then a fourth, then a fifth. It's like I've gone my whole life of eating until now. The seconds between bites feel like an eternity of withdrawal. Eventually, my hunger abates, only after I stripped it clean to the marrow. I need to get it. I need to get one last ingredient. The petal of a flower that grew in the, in the blackwoods. I walk away, gnawing idly on the bone. God, look, look, this it. All right, so it's in the second floor. I was right. It is the the, the flower upstairs. Do do do. Ah, shit. Dire go missing. What? Do 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 do. Survived Buck. Didn't survive Buck, I guess. Okay. Okay, so this is where I'm at. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We've done this already. Right, so hold on. I. Buck. This is the one with the. This is the one. That's the one with the person in it, I think. I think I want to go this way. Oh, look out! Do 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 do. Boom 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 boom. Do 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 Fuck's sake! They're all around me. Uh. Look out, think of the raid, look at how was uh, there is no game. I literally can't go any way. The only way is out of the house. Super Gay Rainbow Raid. Hi. Guys, how was the stream? Chat, if you haven't seen look at the gay the, the heckin' gay husky, go them a follow, go squish their cheeks. Welcome on in. Look out, furry man. Hello, welcome on in. Hi. We're uh currently fighting for a smooch in the of the from the goat of the Blackwoods. There is a dedicated smooch button. You just can't use it until a certain point. Can I like sneak in to any of these? I'm okay for it, man. How you doing? Like, how you going here? No, oh, no, yeah, okay. So I was stuck there. There was no, there was no way forward. Uh, there was no game. Is that good? What is that about? I'm good, Luca. Mm, squish your face. We're just uh, trying to find a way not to die. Right. I remember that I came this way. Simple enjoy your lurk. And then in here... This is where I need to go. And then this way. Hey, Simon. Here. 
but, but they're in there. That's where I need to go. Can I go into this? How do I like move them? I have to just like wait it out maybe. I'm so confused. Hey blue. Like Hi, man. Oh, God. Really? 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 How do I get rid of them? I mean, they might be distracted. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We'll try it. There's, an, there's other plants around, but none that are radiant as this one. This must be this must be a flower growing directly from the blackwood soil. This is the last thing I need to eat before I can complete the ritual. I pluck a petal quietly and toss it in my mouth. It tastes sweet, like honey. It leaves a numbing, unfamiliar sensation on my tongue, as if I'm tasting the very nature of the blackwoods. Suddenly, a sharp, bitter taste seizes me, and the sweetness vanishes. I try to spit out the petal, but I can't move. All I can do is look back at the flower and see how it and the surrounding plants all seem to be growing, all in the same direction towards me. The horror. My heart begins beating again, and my consciousness returns. Suddenly, I'm curled up on the ground in the corner of the room. My face is wet with tears, and I feel like several hours have passed. The is gone, nothing remains of it but my vague memory and an inexplicable sense of dread. And they've just not noticed me in like the hours I've been lying there. Right, okay. Turn off the lights. Too distracted by Booba. Alright, should no little candles face any plant in the room with your spawn partner present. Uh, plant, 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 plant. Well done. We're so close, I can taste it. The flowers, drugs, probably maybe drugs. Maybe a couple of them. Only a little bit. This feeling of hope welling in my chest. So unfamiliar. So I'd hate to disappoint you, but we're trapped in a pretty terrible situation. I'm not sure if escape is a real is realistic at this point. I have no idea how many of them are here, and I know they're armed. I, can, I can't safely get out of this room anymore. The chances are that I'm going to walk into one of their traps eventually, even if I'm on guard every minute of every, of every ritual left. I know what ritual is next. We may yet make it out of this. Oh yeah? But now that Nanny is gone, I fear the worst has yet to come. Let's hope that letting her live wasn't a big mistake. I guess we'll find out. Wait, did I do it? I already did it. Wait, uh huh? Perform the summon of firstborns. Oh my god. This ritual will call upon any and all firstborns within the Blackwoods to gather prodigious amounts of flesh and fresh blood. Vital for many rituals, including uprooting. If you are deaf shy, follow these steps to avoid being targeted. Chant near your spawn partner. After chanting, immediately leave the room. Do not return early. Oh. Okay, right, so chant it and leave. That's that's what we gotta do, chat. We gotta chant it and leave. gonna go here. It's gonna chill in here for a bit. Oh, this is pretty nice. What's that spell do? It doesn't really say. Hold on. Uh, no roof in the Blackwoods is safe except for the heart of the Blackwoods. The hearts will hide them. Hide your, the hearts will hide your scent for them. Avoid first runs on your way. 
Avoid making eye contact. They will know if you saw them. Move quickly, but do not run. You will attract their attention. Be observant. Do not look to the next page until you've reached the hearts. Oh, I've got to go to the heart of the Blackwoods. The fuck is the heart of the Blackwoods? Uh, map. All right, I've got to go to the basement. How the fuck do? Oh. Go down, go down. Uh go, 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 go. Alright. Wait for the candles to go out. Do not leave the heart of the woods until the candles go in their own. No matter what what you see or hear. Once the candles go, leave immediately. Return to the room where the ritual began. Find what they left for you and chant three times until the end of the ritual. We've gotta wait for the the candles to go out. A little terrifying, a little little fucky walky here. Yep, yep. yep. I just gotta wait. I gotta wait. Jesus Christ. If I just don't look, I'll be fine. If I just keep looking straight, we'll be okay. It's all good, chat. No problems. La -dee da. So the kinds of getting around no matter what you see or here. Gonna wait. Oh, go, go. We gotta go. We gotta leave. Um and head back to the Okay, only a little bit. Uh I'm like making sure I don't run into anyone or try to anyway. Okay, we go this way, we go this way, we go up here, we go this way, let me go back inside. See what they've left for me? Oh, got it. But what exactly is it? I open the sack. The contents are a dark red liquid, quickly mixed with another darker fluid. It smells kind of like fresh wine. I close the sack up, ignoring the sight of the two bright red fingers floating at the top. Oh shit. No time to recover from all this excitement. We've got to end this ritual. No, that's right. Yeah, you've got to look at it first. How wonderful. With all of this fresh blood, we're as good as home free. Yeah. Yeah. Soon I will finally leave Sacramento behind. Hopefully, wherever you spend the remainder of your reality will be greener pastures as well. I'm sure it will be. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean remainder my reality? I know it's a lot to take in, but because I'm an outer god, everything in this reality is my dream, including you. Sometime after I'm uprooted, I will wake up and this reality will end. Oh. But what happens to me when my reality ends? Well, permanent entities like myself and Buck continue to exist between dreams. But as for non-immortals, Stardust. Occultus asked me the same exact question once before, when I gave him my answer. At first he laughed as if I was joking. Shortly after, he was disappointed and confused, as if dissatisfied with my answer. But then, as he began to mull it over, it slowly began to drive him mad, until finally he ran shrieking into the woods. Can we still kiss him buck? Again. I mean, there is a smooch button. I'm expecting at some point I'll get the smoocher. Your answer was really that terrifying? I've got to know. What happens to me once my reality ends? I don't know. <laughs> Someone's coming. Is it Buck? Did Nanny spill the beans and say how close we are to finishing? 
I ready my big bass guitar. This is it. Whatever happens, I can't fail here. For my sake and Roxanne's. Do I wait? Do I swing? It was Nanny. Oops. Hurry, get in here. She's back? Why? Because I'm leaving too. And the only way I'm getting out of here is if you finish your rituals. I gotta get back to my folks. And you do too, so... This lady's taking two hits to the head from a guitar. And at least five bullets. And she's still kicking. I mean, I healed her once, but well, twice actually. You get, but you know what I mean. Actually, thanks to the thousand, that's no longer a possibility for her. Oh, were they? You know, did we? I take a deep breath and force a small smile. I swallowed hard, forcing the familiar lump in my throat back down. And you saved me anyway. I don't know how I could even begin to thank you. Well, you can start by helping us escape. Having an ex-cultist on our side evens the odds greatly. It does? Since she has children, she has the same superhuman strength and tenacity as the rest of them. Huh? What are you talking about? I do not have kids. What do you mean? You've been Buck's girlfriend all this time. Inside my aura of desire, no less. How haven't the two of you had kids yet? <laughs> He's like, why have you not fucked? Why don't you tell me? You're the space goat with magic powers or whatever. How come instead of bringing me and Bucky closer, you ruined everything? Ruined everything? You two seem pretty close before he, um, shot you. I mean, I guess we'd be close if I ever got to see him or have any time alone together. I mean, that was what I thought all of this was going to be. Her rock's just like, where? He told me that the black goat of the woods was like some goddess of love or lust or whatever. So I was all like, OMG, that's totally hot. Let's summon her right now. I mean, totally hot. I can agree. But like, as soon as we did, he stopped talking to me. Between you and all the other girls that wander into town, it's like I'm invisible or whatever. whatever. That's not explains why Nanny when I was here for Bunk when we first ran into each other. For a second back there, I thought he'd realized how much I meant to him. Back when he said you can keep the book and the god if he just got me back. But I guess I'm like Hey, don't get yourself down. There's plenty of our violent cult leaders out there. I'm sure you'll find the right one for you. <laughs> Thanks. But Thanks. I think I'm swearing off of skulls and robes for a while. After we do these rituals, that is. Thanks. Here's everything you need for the next one. Saved you the trip. Oh, dear. Thanks. Robe. Uh. Skull. Spray paint. Really? I think she risked returning just to help me. And so, so after this, reality will end eventually? Yes. And I'm part of this dream, meaning I'll probably vanish too? Most likely. So that makes me your dream girl, technically. Well, that's one takeaway from the existential atom bomb I just dropped on you. Look at that blush. Yes, I, I suppose so. Look at that little blushy smile. Adorable. Fucking adorable. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Secure noises, secure noises, secure noises. She key smashed, she key smashed, she key smashed. Kill. <laughs> cool indeed. 
But it's about to get very, very hot. Uprooting me will cause the entire Black Woods to burn down. So you'll need to run. Oh, great. Hey, Kelly. If the woods were able to lure you in all the way from wherever you were living, <laughs> it means its roots have grown that far. That will burn too. He, he smashes it. He smashes it. Uh, ironically. Yeah, we need a smooch. Just how far am I supposed to be running? I would say 60 miles just to be safe. That's a lot of, that's a lot of miles. Doing this is going to burn everything down within 60 miles. It's a small price to pay to excise the woods from your planet. Left unchecked, they will envelop the whole earth, turning every human into either a cultist or fertilizer. Just think of it like a widespread forest fire. And not even the worst one you've seen. Humanity has dealt with far larger wildfires before. Your towns will heal. Yo, here, look, Nanny, you go get, like, a car, right? The fastest car that you can, you can, you can, you can find and, and, and be ready. And I'll do this, and then I'll get in the car, and we just fucking floor it. So I just gotta run for it once the fire starts. Don't stop running, and leave the book behind to burn. If the Thousand ever recovered it, they could seed the Blackwoods again. And this will all have been for nothing. So, do ritual, drop book, run the fuck away. What if they save the book before it burns to ash? You're never gonna make it out anyways. The Thousand are ready to die for Buck. They'll mob us as soon as this place starts burning. Here, if you take my old robes and mask, you can, like, slip right past them. I'll stay behind and make sure the book burns. What about you? Will they kill you if they see you if you're cold stuff? As if. They know my face. If they see me running away, they'll let me go. Here, try this on. I slip on the robes and tuck my head into the goat skull mask. It's snugly. It fits. Do you know what that means? Whether the guys will work? Well, yeah, but more importantly, it means we're the same size. Oh my god, we can be like girlfriends. Oh my god, we can be shopping together. Oh my god. Can I totally raid your closet on my way out? Because like... I didn't want to say this while we were trying to kill each other or anything, but I love your pastel goth look. So cute. I haven't lived here for 17 years. Shinobi, hey. Oh yeah, take whatever you want. It's, it's all burning to the ground anyway. Awesome. Awesome. Stardust, no. We're so close to escaping. You can't throw it all away now by trusting her. If the book doesn't burn, all of this will be for nothing. If you trust her, and then she hands the book over to the Thousand, both of us are going to pay for it. She already switched sides once today. I got this far, didn't I? I got this this far, didn't I? We won't let you, we won't let you down. But she... <sighs> Alright, I just... I want this so badly. And I don't know if I have any hearts left to break. Come on, let's head on down to the root room and finish this. I have a guitar back. I'm in. I want to heal her hearts and smooch her. I want to give her the smoochy hearts. Uh, okay, so I'm... I got my bag of blood. Alright, let's see. What does this say? If your relationship with Roxanne, Selva Oscura has soured, or you no longer wish to have the earth consumed by the Blackwoods, this ritual is the only way to rid your reality of them. What is better? No. To be born good or to overcome your evil nature through a great effort? Overcome you will need you, I'd say. This ritual will cause the Blackwoods to burn to ash, and the hearts will return to their dormant state. This will allow you to escape from the Blackwoods, but be warned. You can never meaningfully leave the Blackwoods once you've entered them. Have all the following on your person. The blood of at least ten human-sized living beings. The seed of a rot bloom within you. On that, a common flame accelerant like flour, cinnamon, cooking oil, nail polish, remover, or hairspray. I have hairspray. Go to the heart of the woods. While facing a heart, chant. Now, why is there alternate, like, things? Why is there alternate things that you can have? What do they do? Do they do something different? That's what I want to know. There's also the free hearts in there, so how the fuck am I meant to pick the right one? Wait. I'm still going to be careful. 
like. I don't want to die. Oh, maybe, maybe. Makes sense. Uh, right. So I want to go this way. My fire. Right, hello. Do do. All right. Let's do it. I got the humans that helped Nanny for her nasty breakup. I'm alright, Karai. How are you doing today? Ah, yes, a guitar off. Down, 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 bam, bam, bam. Like fucking chive. And so the Blackwoods have been destroyed. May something green and good grow from its ashes. I am so, so proud of you. I can't thank you enough. It's ironic, isn't it? The day I get my wish of never having to see a human again is the same day I finally meet one worth knowing. That sounds like you're gonna get caught out, Sigur. Oh, there she goes. It's like an oven in here already. I hear frantic commotion. They must be coming. Pass me the book. I looked down at the purple virtual book, hearing Roxanne's worries echo one more time from my head. I know what I'm doing. Here. <laughs> I didn't imagine the night ending with me willingly handing the book over to you. Oh my god, right? Like, totally not what I expected at all. You know, Buck really wants this book. And now that the god woods damn it, Nanny. Down, he'd probably give anything to have it back. If we went back to the thousand together, we could ask for- <laughs> No. Bad girl. Nanny. Kidding, kidding. I was just kidding. Jeez. Well, mostly. Bitch. She takes a long look at the book before tossing it into the fire. Hey, this is like so embarrassing to say, but I think we would have been besties if things were different or whatever. Mm. You're so cute. Mm. Mm. Pick your nose. It's gross. It's grody. Let's see ya. <laughs> Say ya. Yeah. It smells really pretty. I wish we could have met somewhere else too. Time to go. Hopefully this disguise is enough to escape. Do 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 Please don't kill me. Is that you? Shoot, I wasn't expecting to have to talk my way out. Yeah, um, totally? It is her! What are you still doing in here? This place is coming down! Do I really have all of them filled? Damn it! That outsider must have completed the uproot ritual. If we rush her, we might be able to save the book. Right! There's no way the book has burned all the way yet. I need to buy Nanny more time. Wait, I'll like totally get the book myself or whatever. Really? Nani, you're amazing! You're a true believer! I can't believe you sacrificed yourself for all of us! Come on, guys! Let's get out of here! Right! Bye! Morons. Fucking idiots. Idiots! Uh, where's my map? I need to go... Uh, this way. Boop. Part of me wants to go up to, up to the, to, um, the room and see if Roxanne's, like, still there. But, like, I know she's probably not, so... Is that right? Yeah. Well, if I don't tell her that we call you kitten and that you're you're a good girl, I made it. I survived the night. Six a.m. thing pops up. Bing bong, bing bong. Hey, not quite a go. Well, come on in. I've got a long way to go before I'm clear of the wildfire, but I'm ahead of it for the moment. 
I better be sure to ditch this robe and mask. I don't want to be mistaken for a cult that's once I'm home free. I lower my mask solemnly as I watch my sheltered home burn to the ground. The house crackles loudly as the wood foundation splinters. Large sections of the house begin coming down in cinders, burying any cult that's unfortunate enough to have been trapped underneath. This should be the end of the disappearances. Wait, what's that? Sit tight. Another episode of Sucker for Love at Date to Die For is coming up. Sorry, I ended up not giving the book back after all. <laughs> Guess I've got to get involved now. The book is mine. What? Next time on Sucker for Love. House of Wax. No, I can't wait. No smooch. Don't worry, we'll get the smooch next time. Maybe? Or the next time after that? I don't know. Oh, Nanny! Nanny has left the thousand. Chapter one. True end. Yo, we did it! We got the true end! I'm just amazing, chat. I'm just so really, like, like totally, like, so good at these games. Like, oh my god, I'm just, like, the best. Uh.